guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about five unhealthy habits that we need to stop doing this year 2021 i kept the best for the last so you want to stick around and watch till the end if you want to know the timestamp of the videos you can check my description box if you want to skip a particular point and i am really going to encourage you to watch the video all through so let's get straight into so the, the fifth point i'm going to talk about is not believing in yourself in life believing in yourself aka self-confidence aka self-esteem is a prerequisite for you to be able to grow or for you to be able to achieve things in life so you first of all have to believe in yourself don't let doubt and fear to creep into your mind no don't let those two people to creep into your mind and tell you that you can't do this, you can't do that, oh, this is more than you. Meanwhile, within you lies the power, lies the ability for you to achieve whatever thing you want to achieve. Just set your mind on that goal and you are going to do it. So you have to believe in yourself. In 2021, let us stop doubting ourselves, having low self-confidence, stop having low self-esteem, align fear to stop you from achieving your goal. Leave your comfort zone. Nothing is going to happen to you leave your comfort zone and don't allow fear to crowd your mind crowd your judgment that you can't do this mean why you can do it so this year 2021 i want you to change your mindset from seeing your limitations and abilities i want you to change your mindset from i can't do this to yes i can't and yes i over to the fourth point that i'm going to talk about is stop comparing yourself to one another that is different from others you are unique from others so you need to stop comparing yourself to others in order for you to measure your success yes guys when you compare yourself to others in fact comparison is a theft of joy comparison is a joy killer the moment you you just have that thought like hey why is this person doing better than me why am i not doing like this person you start feeling sad you start feeling bad about your own self and you start feeling like you can't do certain things so this year let us stop that habit of comparing ourselves and self to others there is positive comparison and there is negative comparison but if you're comparing yourself and it's having negative effect on you please let's stop comparing ourselves to one another i have a detailed video on this i'm going to leave it up here you want to check it out so yeah i'm just going to give a brief summary when we compare ourselves to others we are either left feeling inferior or superior in the fact that when you compare yourself to others i say like oh i'm doing better than this person you know there's that post in you there's that ginger but when you compare yourself to others and you see that this person is doing better than you and you're still behind you know what happens you start feeling sad you start feeling inferior and maybe the person is even your friend when you see your friend at that time you're drifting away from that person because you have that attitude of comparing yourself to that person and the funnest thing is we compare the strength of others to our weakness we don't look at where they started we just look at the success that they have attained and we compare it to where we are starting no we cannot do that so this year i'm challenging you to stop comparing us everybody is unique and beautiful we all have different abilities and capacities and we have um different lives lifestyles so don't compare your journey to another person's journey because you are you and that person is that person so when we are faced in a situation where you want to compare ourselves to one another especially negative comparison i'm going to advise you to focus on your strength focus on your wins focus on your celebrations and be proud of them i'm going to talk about is seeking the approval of others validations yes. some of us we cannot do something that we don't get the validation from some others of us, we cannot do something if others don't tell us that oh this is good then we start feeling proud most of the time when you ask others for their opinions for their validations it makes you look like you don't have an opinion of your own don't get me wrong it is okay for you to ask the opinions of others but when you keep doing it over and over and over it makes it makes you look like you don't have a say of your own like depending on others before you have to take a decision about your own so sometimes we find ourselves in situations we find ourselves in circumstances we tend to accept things which are against our morals our standards our values our ways of living just because we want to fit in and we want the approvals of others is a good thing but when we constantly want validation from them then 
that's a bad thing when you seek the approval of others it makes you to doubt yourself it makes you to doubt your judgment it makes you to think like maybe you cannot take a decision on your own every little thing you want to make you have to run to esther you have to run to this person and ask oh what do you think about it no you should learn to do things on your own and the funnest thing is when you get the desired result that we want maybe you're expecting your friend to tell you something positive and he or she says something negative you start feeling bad and all of that stuff so the point i'm going to talk about is trying to change things that are beyond our control like i think i'm very guilty of this life doesn't go the way we plan it we stick our time we set our goals in two months time i want to be this i want to have achieved this but life isn't always goes the way we plan it like, like the way we plan it in our book in our journal that's not how life goes the way it is planned so for example i was saying to myself that oh in the month of january 2021 i want to be around 800 subscribers here i am february i am still struggling to get 700 so that is life for us it doesn't go the way we plan it but we have to continue living continue striving and don't try to change things or try to have control over things that are beyond your control because at the end it is very very exhausting you know we we are not called you know we got so there are things that are beyond your control so just accept things the way they are and live your life the way it is live your life to suit the current situation when you get caught up on the why and try to find the perfect answer for why the events took place it stops you from moving forward and finding what you can control in that moment it's hard to accept unexpected challenges sometimes we feel embarrassed or we feel like a failure when we are faced with a situation that is more than us to control these feelings come in as a result of blaming ourselves for the things that we cannot fix yes so no matter how hard we try or how good we are there are certain things that we cannot fix no there are things that we cannot fix that are beyond our control that can only be fixed by one person accepting that life is unpredictable and at times out of control allows us to move forward otherwise we keep fighting hopelessly against reality this brings us to the last point which is focusing on the negative criticism often have a greater impact on us than compliments the same reason why bad news frequently draws our attention than good news. because negative negative events have a greater impact on our brain than positive focusing on the negative is not good especially for our mental health because when you focus on the negative it makes you to draw more attention to bad things it makes you to draw attention to things that are not good or things that are not happening and it makes you to dwell in dark and bad like dark thoughts you see somebody he's going to tell you that i am from the dark place meaning that he has been down mentally he has been thinking only about negative things that have been happening to him or her so when you dwell on dark thoughts it's very difficult for you to become optimistic and in life it's always good for you to be optimistic it's always good for you to see the positive side of things not only focus on the negative side of anything in every situation there are two ways that we can react we focus on the why things did not happen the way we want or we focus on the why we the challenges that we face and we move or we keep on dwelling on why this did not happen why me why me why me or we celebrate the areas in our lives that are going well and we move every negative encounter that you face today i'm challenging you to look for three things that are positive about that situation also challenging you to change your mind to see things from a positive direction think positively and why not to spread positive vibes only hey guys we have come to the end of today's video if you did like this video please consider to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed please let's get to 800 subscribers before we 21st which is my birthday the only birthday gift that i want from you guys is to help me get more subscribers thank you guys in the comment section some of the negative behavior or some of the negative attitudes or habits that you okay. are practicing this 2021 yeah. oh before you have to go you want to check out these other videos happy to practice in 2021 the lessons i learned from 2020 i'll see you in my next video bye